As long as I have lived on this earth, I've never felt a greater feeling of relief than when I suffered through my three finals and finished the semester as a hollow shell of my former self. Okay, well, maybe that isn't entirely true. There was that one time I drank an entire liter of tea, only to realize three hours later that I needed to go to the bathroom. I couldn't just use any bathroom, however, as per university policy, I had to walk half a mile in the dark across campus to use my dorm bathroom. Add to that the metronomic pitter-patter of freezing rain onto my shoulders, and you have the single greatest test of self-control in human history. But I'm getting sidetracked. Let's get back to the academics. This semester has been the epitome of self-inflicted suffering. I mentioned in a previous video that I miserably failed to test into a higher level math class, but I didn't talk about how the second year physics course I'm taking strongly recommends taking that class. The reason for this recommendation became abundantly clear about halfway through the semester, when my math class was introducing vectors and my physics class was asking me to use the Euler-Lagrange equation to find the nother charges of holonomic systems. So in addition to my workload from my three STEM classes, I was spending the weekends learning bits of linear algebra, functional calculus, and other math concepts that conveniently have big names so I can sound smart. Here's how that usually went. Hey Jeff, do you want to go out tonight? You've been in your room all day looking at that textbook. Get away, I need to keep studying so I can get my money's worth out of this university! Jeff, this is the fourth weekend in a row you literally have not left your room except to get food. Have you even seen sunlight today? Your window's closed. I paid too much to enjoy myself! I need to be miserable to extract maximum value from my tuition! I'm not even asking anymore, Jeff. You're coming with us whether you want to or not. This is now an intervention. You'll never take me alive! <laughs> Wait, I'm wasting even more money this way! Naturally, this unending workload took its toll on my sleep schedule, or rather the lack thereof. In order to keep myself awake, I redeveloped a caffeine addiction I thought I had shrugged off junior year of high school, I kept my room at a constant 62 degrees Fahrenheit, and I blasted music so loud that people on the other side of my dorm, a floor above me, could hear it. Maybe that's why nobody on my floor wants to hang out with me now that I think about it. Couldn't possibly be because I never talked to them, or because my personality is flatter than the earth. Anyway, my circadian rhythms being fried like a KFC drumstick were more than just annoying. It actually almost cost me my physics midterm. I woke up just an hour before the exam began and proceeded to roll out of bed, thinking the entire time that the exam was tomorrow. Had it not been for my aforementioned mathematical ineptitude, I would have never opened the group chat to beg the nice second years for help and seen people talking about how the exam was today. I remember actually choking on my toothbrush and immediately running back to my room, toothbrush still in mouth, to cram the last chapter of content I'd procrastinated on, cursing all the way through the phone. With this in mind and the additional trauma from my chem midterm where my scanning app, Wi-Fi, and data all gave up on me like I did on my hopes of ever being happy again, uh, I mean, uh, haha, look at this funny yellow dog! He's so wacky and uncharacteristic! Um, with all of this in mind, I was determined not to mess up my finals. So I locked myself in my basement for the week leading up to them to prepare, only to watch almost 10 hours of YouTube every day because I had no motivation. It wasn't until the weekend before exam week that I realized just how big of a hole I dug myself into, got my act together, and prepared. I actually did well on these exams, which is good because it means I'm not going to fail out of college, but it's also really annoying because it means I don't have anything to milk for content. So, um, just pretend I said something funny here. I think that's what my friends do most of the time anyway. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the socials. Links to all of those are in the description. If you're watching this the day it goes up, by the way, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Hopefully you get more than just student debt. For your